Hey guys, I hope you're all out. So we're currently on our way to Eze. recommended to take the bus as the views are more scenic uh, we can take the train but it's only a 15 minutes difference whereas with the bus we get the scenic views and it's cheaper I mean not much of a difference but it's all about the views so we're on our way um, we're a bit scared because we've heard that we don't have any signal in Eze yeah. so we're gonna be monitoring with the map um, but I can't believe we're gonna be using the map today guys it's not it's like the medieval time. <laughs> it's fine. What a town doesn't have service yeah. in the twentieth century? In the twentieth century. Yeah, when I was recommended, people were telling me twenty-first century. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> <laughs> when I was recommended the place, they told me. Uh, my friend, she told me that there is no signal. That's why she didn't actually fully go and enjoy it because she was like, no, we have to turn around. Um, but to be honest, well, we were driving past yesterday from. Um, to Monaco and we passed it as there, we did actually lose signal on the train. So that'll be very interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna meet you guys all at the bus. you guys saw is the postern it was used as a defense equipment during wars um, yeah. it was during used during the war Look at this. this is so cool it was used during the war between Francois the first and his Turkish ally Suleiman the Magnificent and it managed to protect two towers and a bridge <laughs> It's very much a medieval village. Look at the these. These little details. It's very stony village. It's very small. Um, as I said, it's only like half an hour away by bus. But although the views are nice, I do not recommend going by bus when it's during season because too many people and people are standing up in just way. So I do rather I could just go by train. <laughs> Of Eze dates back to the so the village of Eze dates back to the medieval times. It dates back to even further to 2000 BC, um, but the population is very tiny as it's a very small village. Its population for 2018 was 2000, just above 2000 inhabitants, so it's really small. Um, a lot, so I'm seeing everything. A lot of the business comes from artwork. Um, but to be honest, the details in the artwork are so nice. They're not cheap, but it's definitely worth the price if you are looking to, to buy some artwork. My room is a Renaissance theme, so it doesn't suit it. But if it was themed in this way, then 100% I would buy it. Definitely worth the money. You're going to get copyright if you say it. Huh? You're going to get copyright if you on it. But yeah, no, it has like a really cute vid village vibe to it, of course, because it is a village. Um, I think a similar one in the UK could be York, but it won't be the same as this. This is so well kept, 
so well preserved. But yeah, there's so many restaurants, so many cafes, so many jewelry places. Um, so if you do have the opportunity to visit, go there. the exotic garden it was a two minute walk everything is so close together so it's so easy to find um and yeah all i can see so far are cactuses and a cacti oh you have to buy tickets that's fine that's fine is there much to it wait how much are the tickets there's like 10 euros in there how much six find ourselves right outside of the church. The church is called the Notre Dame de l'Assomption Church. Um, so it started being so it started being built in 1772 and its architect made it made it sure that it was decorated in neoclassicism classicism um, style. The exterior contrasts the interior where it features oil paintings giving a dramatic effect. So I haven't looked inside yet but let's go. We just came out of the church there are very interesting things in there again like in Malaga there is the Illuminati site and I tried to google it why I see in multiple churches across Europe but I can't find anything it's just the Satanist Bibles comes up on Google so I really don't know the explanation for that so if you do know the explanation please comment down below I'm really intrigued we are both really interested on why yeah, it's yeah. the case um, also this um, as I said this is called Notre Dame de la Assomption or La Assomption let me see what's in this one the L'Assomption. <laughs> so it's dedicated to the Lady of Assumption. So at the front of the altar, usually it's Jesus, this time it's Mary, and Jesus is at the back of the altar and on the sides. So the church is dedicated to Mary, which is very interesting. The weird things about it, this church is only 300 years old, which is not old, old, um, I would say, um, but it's not kept in good condition, as in there are things breaking off of it there's like cement being broken off and also it's not cheap materials that it's made from of course there is gold as well so i wouldn't assume that um it would be easy to break but in that case it is um so as you guys see there's some rooms that the gold has come off um and like cement from the altars has come off and i don't think that's i don't know why that is the case um i don't know I really don't know. I don't know if this is considered a poor village or not. Maybe that if that is the case, but to maintain and take care of it, to make, take care of it is not it's not expensive. To maintain it, of course, it would be expensive. But then again, the church always has a lot of money. Um, but again, don't take my word for it. I'm not really sure why that is the case. But this is something I have noticed. 
There are painted um, windows on one side of the wall and um, to cross the symmetry of the actual windows on the other side, which is very different to what I've ever seen in the church. Um, but as, you can, as I had said, um, the church is styled in a neoclassicism way and you can very much tell that because it's very different because all the other churches I've gone to have been Gothic style or rom Romantic style. I've never seen something like this and I really like it. It's quite simplistic but it has a nice touch and cosy feel to it. So we currently find ourselves in a cemetery. Um, You're so quick with it. I love cemeteries. Oh my god, look at the viewpoint from here. Whoa. I would love to be buried here. Yeah. Mm. They're quite basic tombstones, so they're nothing special in a sense that way. But it's on the top of a hill and they're overlooking a really nice view. It's actually not that bad actually. I mean, it's not special. Like, I thought it would be like spooky, but it's not even. Yeah. Chilling Hill is nice, would be nice. Yeah, See, now you know I took cemeteries. Yeah, I should get now. I have two kids jobs so far. There's something there. Oh, there's more. There's a tomb in there. But yeah. I think that over there is where the French military soldiers were buried. Okay, so we just had lunch on a very nice viewpoint, which I will show you guys in a sec. Um, and we're gonna go to the beach very soon, that's why I dressed in my bikini. So I mean, we're staying here for like a bit of a time so I can have a tan. Um, when we're at the beach, I'm gonna take my makeup off because I wanna take some pictures first. Um, and yeah, so um, the way to go to the beach is a half an hour walk path and we're taking the hiking trail. So you, the whole hiking trail is 2.6 miles, but we're only like, walking a little bit of it because it's at the beach, we're just going to the beach. Um, it's a half an hour walk, but at least you get to go, it's quite near to the station, so we can go from the beach to the station straight away. It's like a five minute walk from there. And the path is called, it's very weird because it seems like it's a German name, not a French name. It's called Nietzsche Footpath. How do you, would you pronounce this in German? The Nietzsche path. Nietzsche. Yeah, because that doesn't sound French, it's yeah. German. But yeah, that's the footpath that we're going to take. And we asked the couple that were walking past and they said that it's a bit hard because it's a nice footpath, but it's um, there's a lot of stones and like things we have to go over. So that will be fun. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys. Oh yeah, just to let you guys know, it's a fun fact that I found out. Eze in French means king. So the town is called King in French. Yeah. It's quite fun. <laughs> How are you feeling, Rima? Um, I'm feeling great. I've just had my Red Bull. I don't feel like I'm You are. Okay. Basically guys, I've just had my Red Bull, so I'm feeling more energised than before. And yeah, we're about to go to the beach. We're hiking, well we're not really hiking, we're walking down a path. It's a hiking path, it just happens to be. Yeah, yeah but then hiking, I feel like hiking implies struggling to walk up a hill and then it's not like... We're going walk. downhill and then we're well, gonna, yeah, The only exactly. time we're going up, uphill is for the five minutes to go to the station. Okay, which is calm. So half an hour walking down. Yeah. But apparently the beach is very nice, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah. And yeah. I'll see you guys later. I'll show you guys the viewpoint first. Mm. Mm -hmm. So right over there we have the little town. There's the um, church behind the trees and the viewpoint is right on the sea. I'm just try and get a different angle for you guys. Oh, there we go. It's so, so nice. And there's more buildings over there. Those trees over there, I don't know if you guys can see, they're like very spiky. They're very irregular to what I've seen before, but yeah, pretty cool. And the, this viewpoint is literally just off of the town. There's signs towards it. So the sign is to the beach, you go there, and there's a viewpoint and then to the path. So in a bit, we're gonna to go to the path. a 30 minute walk, more like an hour, 
but it was so calming and soothing and the views were really nice so it was worth it and we're at the beach right now but we're approaching it see you guys